Hey guys, Mr. O here. I'm just going to review the writing scale of when to make a new paragraph. I'm also going to quickly go over how to make a new paragraph afterwards, just in case you're not quite sure. So here's a little sample of some writing I was working on, just a little detective story. Uh, and we're going to, I was doing good paragraphing here, and then I just purposely wrote a lot but did not make new paragraphs so we can hopefully fix this up so let's get started so i found this great and kind of cute uh, little poster of how to make how when to change paragraphs and here is i'm just going to go down the list when a new character comes along so whenever a new character shows up in a scene you should start a new paragraph whenever a new event happens so if something different happens Time for a new paragraph. A new idea is introduced. Oh, that sounds like in my detective story, maybe every time there's a new clue, I would maybe make a new paragraph. The setting changes. So if the characters go to a different place, you can, um, that's a great time for a new paragraph. A new person is speaking. That's right. When you're writing dialogue, you need to make a new paragraph each time a different person speaks. Uh, that will result in a lot of shorter paragraphs, and that's okay. Uh, I'll make another video at some point about how to write good dialogue, and we'll have the details in there. If time moves forward a lot, and if time moves backward a lot, so if you're flashing back or flashing forward, that's uh, a good time to change paragraphs. So anytime you say, later that day, or the next morning, that sort of thing. This one's a little tricky. It's when the camera moves. Um, so if you imagine that the story you are writing is a movie, if the camera would move in the movie version of your story, that'd be, that would be a good time for a new paragraph. Uh, that's the trickiest rule, but it's fine. So to follow those rules, I'm just going to go into the writing. So it was an exciting summer day when my friends and I first noticed the missing noticed a missing dog sign. My friends and I took a long ride on our bikes just to see how far away people were hanging up these signs. They were all over our neighborhood. I went to the grocery store in the next town over. Oh, I went to the grocery store in the next town over, so I need to make that into a new paragraph. So I click there. I'm just going to hit enter twice to skip a line, and I'm going to hit the tab button to indent to make a new paragraph. Let me make sure I do that for the other one, too. Okay, let's see. I went to the grocery store in the next town over, and I even saw some signs there. I asked my mom if I could get some extra granola bars and other snacks I could bring with me on a bike ride because my friends and I wanted to solve the case. When I got back home, oh, another change in setting. The character's back home now, so I've got to skip a line. Oh, and look, it indented for me that time, so I didn't even hit, have to hit tab. So that's great. So I'm just very quickly going to just go over how to make a new paragraph, now that we know when to make a new paragraph. So on a computer, you hit enter to skip down one to two lines, and you indent by hitting the tab button. Uh, that's on the left side of the keyboard. Uh, it's usually right next to the letter Q. Um, and that indents just the perfect amount. Uh, sometimes once the computer figures out that you're using good paragraphs, it'll start indenting for you so then you don't have to hit tab. Uh, if you are writing on paper the old-fashioned way, uh, what you will do is just skip uh, skip one or to two lines, and then you can indent the correct amount by putting two fingers down on the edge of the page and starting your writing past your two fingers. Uh, that way you still have that little bit of space to show that it's a new paragraph. So this has been a quick look at how and when to make new paragraphs in narrative writing. I hope this video was helpful, and remember, you can always watch it again to review. Happy writing!